Hello there, this is Dave Allen, I'm good and geeky, and today I'm looking at what I've been doing with my Pi. One of the things I've done is to install this simple screen recorder, and it's recording now, that's good. I did give it a bit of a test earlier, and it seemed to be working. So let's just put that to one side for a moment, because I'm recording it at the moment. Now, one of the things I didn't like particularly about the way that you add moves that way, if you do a search for something on here, then you get all these things here, and you don't necessarily find what you're looking for. So whether you're looking for accessories or whatever else, it just comes with a big long list of stuff that it's can, can be a bit difficult to go through and find exactly what you're looking for. So I saw on another YouTube video today where someone has installed a thing called Pi Apps. Now this is the Pi Apps here and it's a much nicer interface to find applications to install on your Raspberry Pi. So for instance, if you want to look at, do something with Creative Arts, you click on this one here. And I've installed GIMP already, and I've installed Inkscape through this. And I could go to other ones here, so for instance if I want Blockbench. It gives me some lowdown about what's going on here. And I can bring that into this Pi if I want to, just click on Install, and it will install. Or I could go to, let's see, Audio, mm, Creative Arts, go to Multimedia, that's the way. So I've got to Multimedia and I want to install Audacity, which is a good thing to have if you go to do any audio. I'll just click on Install, and that will install the application for me. Pretty cool. It's taking its time to do, but it's going ahead there. And while it's doing that, I can go and have a look at something else. So that's uh, something I quite like there with this thing called Pi Apps. I also installed something called PyKiss, and if I go to System Tools, there it is, PyKiss. And in this one here, it's called uh, Pi, Keeping It Simple Stupid. And you can do tweaks, you can do games, you can do emulation, info, multimedia, configure, do some tweaks related to the internet. Use your distro as a server, so let's click on that there. Let's click on OK. So there's a few things that you can do. So, for instance, if I wanted to install a database, Maria database, I can do that. Or I can go to Add Block or Cups if I don't do something printing or use the Raspberry Pi as a Git server. Or this is interesting, this one here called Own Cloud, which is a thing that came before Next Cloud. So if I want to access the data from all my devices, I might think about putting that in there. Next Cloud is more up to date than Own Cloud, but it's something that's uh, possible. Let's click on cancel out of that. So there's more something I'm going to look into a bit later anyway, something I've recently put on there. Let's get this out of the way. So there are just a few th little things I've been doing with my Raspberry Pi to make it more useful. And I'm enjoying the Raspberry Pi. I think it's a brilliant little piece of kit. It uh, makes a little bit of a mess on my desktop with all the cables running in and out of it, but still, I think I can put up with that. That will do it for now. I'll talk more about things I'm doing with my Raspberry Pi in the next video. Bye-bye now.